warm clothes to the players because uh, they need to. Many of them, John Elway got off the plane in just a t-shirt. He's going to need a sweater or a jacket today. We see some fans out here at the uh, Civic Center Park in t-shirts as well. They probably got out of their cars maybe about an hour ago figuring they'd be able to make it. But as that wind has started to whip up, it is definitely a lot cooler. If you're going to be leaving home trying to race down here to catch the festivities, dress warm. And yeah. uh, Todd, or I should say Phil Keating, reported some snow flurries. Uh, picking up a uh, few blocks up Broadway. Yeah, they might get that kind of a greeting when the parade actually begins. We're going to take a break right now and come back with more of our live coverage in just a moment. Denver first down now at their 20-yard line. They lead 10-3. to three. Elway boots and rolls to his right, stops, loads it up, throws down deep the middle of the field. Rod Smith got it! Here we go! 30! Right there as well, and... Uh, we may see Peggy Shanahan. I'm not exactly sure, but it looks like Annabelle's holding up the trophy there and um, beginning to rave to the crowds. And Neil Brown is right in that staging area at um, Coors Field. Uh, Neil, what can you see from your vantage point? We're just seeing number 53, the engine there with John and Jen and Elway. It is the second one that is in line there of this procession. They have put, of course, the Vince Lombardi trophy on number 87. We were thinking that they would have engine number seven out here, but that's not the case this year. So John Elway will be on engine number 53, which is the second in line. They are pulling out in formation now, and from what we understand, they will have the ramp shut off here coming to Park Avenue West. They will come back up the wrong way on the ramp, and then they will get a police escort down to the staging point, which is 20th and Broadway, where the parade will actually start here. It looks like to me that they're putting about maybe seven or eight players on each one of the fire engines so that they will have them spread out for the entire route of that parade right now. But finally, about 40 minutes later than scheduled, they are getting started, at least from here at the Coors Field staging area to go to 20th and Broadway. This is, of course, ironic because it's been cold, blowing, and kind of windy here and cloudy. But just as soon as they started this parade, what does this tell you? The sun comes out, and it shines brightly. This might be... Kind of interesting and at least a better visual for all of the people, for the players there, and for the cameras who are taking the shot. A lot of the uh, fire engine people and personnel, too, riding on the last couple that come out. And it seems like they put most of the support personnel on the two buses in the back. It's hard to see from here just exactly the faces involved, but it looks like that most of the players will be on the engines and a lot of the support personnel will be on the buses that will follow. So that's the way it looks right now. We're going to see if they're coming up this ramp here, not quite. The clock or something at night, 10, 30, 11, you know, they didn't even begin their parties till one or two in the morning. And now it's just gotta be sheer adrenaline right yeah, now. So when, when they see these fans, it's gonna kick in. Yeah, so invigorating to step off the aircraft and get into that, some of that bracing Colorado air and uh, remind them that yeah, deep they are. Excellent. Yeah, I was feeling you guys were doing a Bronco cheer earlier. Clearly people still have uh, their vocal cords left, so let's hear you boys. Ready? Yeah! yeah! Ray should be here, the fire trucks. I don't know. You can't even see them yet, but I think they're supposed to be rounding the corner, so maybe about two blocks away. Jim, I think your son skipped school today. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see him. Uh, those Benefit, Benefit boys always known for their provocative fashion statements. Madonna's got nothing on that guy. Oh, boy. <laughs> wow. Making a statement, to say the least. We see the fire trucks, and it looks like it may actually be at the very beginning right now, at the start of the parade. Do we have Kathy Sabin? Two, three, four, five. Test, test. Oh, you're testing out just fine, Kathy. Can you hear us? I can hear you just fine. We are at the beginning of the parade route, and finally, the beginning of the parade. We have the parade. We're seeing the beautiful slide sails. They are bringing in, it looks like, the Broncos cheerleaders cheering off of the side there. And uh, some folks walking along the side. We've got three police officers on motorcycles. Looks like we even might have a little bit of a, a band playing out ahead of the horses. These fans have been here patiently since, well, gathering since about 11 o'clock this morning. It's been cloudy and cold. Temperatures in the 30s. Oh, these horses are magnificent. Beautiful. The beautiful Budweiser Clydesdales. Something to see. Here come our Denver Bronco cheerleaders. Here they are. Some of the mounted patrolmen coming on through. Good to see you. Some of the
of the mounted patrolmen moving on through now, working hard. Hello there. Here comes the parade, folks. We've got a couple of cars leading the way. A couple of security vehicles coming in. And here comes the first fire truck, the Vince Lombardi Trophy. Pat Bullen, his lovely wife, sitting on top. 